And as I was saying earlier, the reason why you want an ugly ran down laundromat is so that you're able to put in a little bit of that sweat equity, or in other words, value add, and typically you're able to increase your ROI and make your money back quicker. Now to preface this video, there are more or less two types of laundromat buyers out there. There's the one side of the buying spectrum where you're looking to purchase an already well-oiled machine with brand new washers, brand new dryers, brand new flooring, and already set operation. You know, not really looking to put too much renovation or touch up to the already existing business. And for this case, all you'd be looking to do is just purchase the business and expect your monthly cash flow and not stir up the pot too much, which could realistically bring in anywhere from maybe $500 a month to a few thousand dollars a month, which is amazing, right? That's obviously great. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, who wouldn't want an extra $3,000 a month cash flow, right? Cash flow is cash flow and we all want more of it. And so then there's the other side of the buying spectrum where you as a buyer are looking for quite literally the 